welcome back to my channel you guys as you can see from the title of today's video I'm making Afghan dishes for the first time and I'm a little nervous Side note, you guys, I just came out with my very first ebook on modest fashion. It goes over the essentials of modest fashion. It has a full four season lookbook styling the pieces I mentioned and a shopping checklist with store recommendations. I'm so excited. And this week, I'm offering a very special launch week pricing. So I'll click the link in my bio and definitely, definitely check it out. You are going to love it. Quick disclaimer, these are not your mom's recipes. This is not your Bibi John's recipe. This is this is like an amalgamation of things I've seen online. It's not traditional. If you're feeling like you need to cry, scream, take a breath, leave the leave the premises, you know, relax. Today I am making mantu, I'm making banjan, and I'm making like a shorwa gorma hybrid, which is like a lamb stew. Never made any of these things. In middle life, I have a bunch of recipes and instructions from my mom. TikTok is also a, a reference for me, so let's let's see how this goes. Okay, so the first thing that I need to do is prep everything. Okay, let's cut an onion, and then if it makes me start crying, I can take a break from it, and then I can cut the other onion after. These knives are so freaking dull. God, like that can't be. Safe. Pull you guys lower so you can see actually what's happening. I think that the dishes that I have picked to make are fairly simple. Like for shorwa, you kind of just pop that into the air um, pressure cooker. And banjan, I've made banjan before once, and that was pretty simple as well. So this is the onion I'm gonna use for the mantu. So I'm gonna dice it. Okay, you guys, I've just cut all of the veggies, so I'll show you what we have. It's literally very repetitive. We have the disc tomatoes for the banjan, which are not cut the right way because I realized way too late that I need tomatoes, like I forgot. Uh, I have my little eggplant pieces. This was a small eggplant, um, so that's why they're kind of boopy like that. This is my diced onions for the uh, mantu. This is my onions for the horma shorwa. And my potatoes for the horma shorwa, which I'm a little concerned because I think I cut them too small. I have about... I think it's two kilos. I don't even know how much uh, lamb meat that right there. I'm gonna pressure cook that with the onions, potatoes, and tomatoes, and some masalas, which is why I'm calling it like a shorwa horma. I just kind of wanted to add a bit more flavors than shorwa, but not it's not fully horma. I don't know. First thing I think I do is I turn this on saute with oil, and I think I saute the onions, and then I put the meat in. Afghan shorwa, and not just any. Oh my gosh, this one has danya in it? What? I use coconut oil when I cook. So I'm gonna use a bunch of coconut oil. Do I have more olive oil? I mean, coconut oil to fry the bad onion. <gasps> yeah. You don't have any more coconut oil? No. You're lying. Oh, check. Minor crisis. We got it. While the oil is heating up, we're gonna throw in the onions just so that they can heat up together and they don't burn. I'm gonna add in the meat. Okay. We're gonna mix these up a little bit and let them get a tag a little bit brown and then we're adding in all of the masala. So now we're gonna add our masala and I'm gonna add some chili powder, a little bit of haldi, some zita, just a little bit. We have some coriander here that I had crushed. Oops, here we go. We'll add our garlic. Add some tomato paste. Be very careful with this. And pepper. So let's give this a good mix. Have that mixed, so I'm gonna add the tomatoes. And why I came to inspect, so I said, hey, can you hold the camera? Okay, and I'm gonna put in the water just so that it covers the meat, and I'll show you. Okay. I think that's good. Everyone's videos look like it just covers the meat, so I think that that's good. Okay, we're gonna lock it in. Now while this cooks, I'm gonna go and make the filling for the mandu first because I want it to set aside before I make the mantus and I don't want it to like make the dumpling wrappers gummy. Just put the water to boil for the rice and now I'm gonna go ahead and make the filling for the mantu. And pop in my onion. We're gonna throw in our beef. I freeze it like this so 
It's just gonna come out in a little log. Break it up and then I'm gonna add in my spices right away. A bit of crushed cumin, a bunch of fresh garlic, and a bit of halvi, salt. Bring it around town, all that good stuff. Okay, that's what we're at right now. Okay, there she is. And now I'm gonna pop it in the fridge so it cools down so that we can make the little dumplings in a bit. So for banjan, we're gonna use a bunch of oil to fry our eggplant. Okay, these guys are ready to flip. Okay, way too many things were happening at the same time, so Moyd had to step in and help me strain the rice right now. Okay, so I have my serrano peppers, and we're gonna throw them in as well with the oil to deep fry them, or just fry them, period. Popping on the tomatoes, this is gonna sizzle. The heat is lowered, and then we're gonna layer on these banjan on top. This is really not how it's supposed to look because Normally you would have like a way bigger serving size. Use some salt, some garlic, and we're gonna put water in this. Our garlic on top. We'll save this for the yogurt later. We're gonna let that steam in there so the tomatoes fully cook and everything else is already cooked so it's good. There she is in all her glory. There was a lot of fat in this batch of lamb so that's floating around there. Now I'm gonna add in the potatoes and saute it a little bit. Okay, so now the time has come for us to wrap our little manzus. I have my beef mixture right here. I have my station where I'm gonna be making them. I have my water right here. And of course the little dumpling wrappers that I got from the store. I see everyone go and they have their little wrapper. They put a little bit of water on two corners. They take their filling. And mine is a little crumbly. And they pop it in the center. And then they go like this. Oh, maybe I put too much filling. Okay, cool. Chill, 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 chill. This. And they go like this. And then they go like this. Okay, so I quickly watched a tutorial and I figured it out, but I also think that these are not the correct wonton wrappers. Wonton wrapper. <laughs> wonton wrappers. I'm gonna take each corner, give it a little kissy. This other corner wants to join in for the love. We're gonna squeeze these guys all together. And I think what you have to do is you have to move fast while it's still sticky for these particular wrappers. Well, here's our, here's our special little guy. So I just brushed that with oil and popped the manthu in. They are looking a little freaky, but why doesn't want you to see. <laughs> okay, you guys, I'm done. What a process, but oh my God, you guys, it looks so freaking good. Like I need, I'm just gonna show you. I started, I started late, okay? And cue the Afghan music montage. Before we go and enjoy this feast at 11.30 p.m., I'm gonna do a taste test of one of the items. And I think the best looking thing here is the manthu, so let's do a taste test, ready? Bismillah. Oh my God. Alhamdulillah, so tasty. Thank you for watching today's video. I hope you liked it. Let me know if you wanna see more videos like this, and I'll see you next time.